on October 27th, Better Value Liquor Stores, in conjunction with Anoka Lions Club and the Anoka Area Chamber of Commerce, hosted its annual wine and beer tasting event. Back from a two-year hiatus, the crowd was eager to come back to the big white tent at Anoka City Hall to get a taste from what the vendors and attendants had to offer. First and foremost, hopefully they find their favorite new beverage, adult beverage, uh, especially going in the holidays. Um, they can come to either one of our locations. Everything that's being poured tonight is on sale for the duration of our wine sale into mid-November. Um, we're just hoping to enjoy yourself, drink in moderation, and hopefully, like I said, you find your new favorite. Um, a lot of the vendors were just super excited to be doing this again. A lot of them have done this in the past, um, and they were looking forward to it, just being out in the community and being out in a crowd again. It's a community event celebrating Halloween, the Halloween capital of the world. Um, this is my first event. I just started recently for the city of Anoka. I've heard a lot about the event. We're super excited to have it going again for the first time since 2019. Um, and we're just you know, working in collaboration with the Anoka Lions on this. So we have, we have uh, distributors and vendors from all over the Twin Cities that work with Better Values Liquor. And we have opened this up, of course, to 10K, who's a local brewer here in town and to buy tickets and come in and sample. It, everything was sold online through the stores and through the Anoka Lions. Whether it's planning for your next event or looking to connect with your community, this event is a great way to sample and plan for your next get together. So the takeaways definitely are the great values that you can get at Better Value Liquor. It's also that it's a great partnership between the Anoka Lions and the city of Anoka and Better Value Liquor. We all are working together to put this event on and make sure that it's successful for the city of Anoka. Oh, well, it's been great. Been uh, basically dealing with Vicki Violet. Said so we're working in collaboration. We've had great communication with each other, constant communication with each other, updating each other on sales, um, vendors we've talked to, how many vendors, um, everything. It's just been great. It's been wonderful and looking forward to the future events with them. What I really am hoping for is that people really see that there's a sense of community. You have nonprofits working with the city, working with the for profits, and so that we really do have a great community sense um, here in Anoka and that it's we work together to make sure that Anoka is thriving and to make sure that uh, everybody knows what's available in Anoka. Don't miss out on next year's event and visit anokaminnesota.com to learn more about your municipal liquor partners with the city of Anoka. Well being that we are a city-owned liquor store this is just a, a huge community event it gets the community out together again especially since they haven't had it for the last well it's the first time in three years. So it just brings the community together and it's super important when you have a city-owned liquor operation. All the profits go back to the city of Anoka. All the residents get the benefit from it. It benefits more, more importantly the parks, other equipment that, may, that the fire rescue needs or, or the police department needs. So truly 100% of the profits goes back to the community.